Alright, so... For Nightfall. Speedrun guide, I guess. I'm gonna explain it first on easy. And then I'll restart the level. And explain it on legendary. Does that make sense? So, this is all for easy. What you want to do, if you ever want to practice this, just a nade jump off the bat. It really doesn't matter if you do it or not, it just saves like a second or two. Normally, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. Um, you can just walk around and you don't have to touch anything. All this is fairly straightforward though. It's just two nade jumps. You can just run over here. You don't have to kill that grunt. I just did it for fun. All this is just running. It's like the shortest level. It's fairly easy. You can just run through it. Actually, I could explain that a bit more. I, I, yeah, if people are having trouble with the grenade jumps, I can explain it in this. I should have went more in depth to the nade jumps. Because I remember a guy was like having trouble with it. And I'm like, dude, this this is like fairly easy. Like, just do this. And he is literally having trouble with it. But, um, alright, I guess I guess I'll say the same thing over and over again. Yeah, this is gonna be a speedrun for Nightfall on easy first, and then I'm gonna restart the level and do it on legendary. So, if you're doing full game again, you wanna press A and Y. Um, what I do, there's gonna be this first nade jump let me see this is how it is I just want to jump up here you want to know how I did that I, I'm used to sprint jumping so I sprint until this little shrub over here and I jump to cancel my momentum I also melee and for some reason this floor, like this part of the floor has like different physics and it's not gonna make like the na like the nade like fall flat. It's actually gonna give it a bit bounce. But you can you can throw it in like many different ways as long as you can get this jump. You can throw it right here. And then just you can get enough height just to do that. But off rip, just like mental momentum. Uh, it takes some getting used to. I cancel my momentum with the sprint and then I throw it, I walk with it for a bit, and I crouch. I jump crouch. And then spam jump again. So I can land on this part of the rock and get enough height is by crouching. And then I let go of crouch and I just jump. And then I'm over. So once again, oh fuck! Once again, just jump, cancel momentum, follow the nade, and just—it's gonna be a bit of practice. You know, I'm feeling this now. Line it up. Just spam jump. And just sprint. That's the first nade jump. That just saves like a second or two if you don't want to do it, you can just go around. This one, jump over here, is a good slide jump. You can get it. May save some time. For this nade jump, I like to throw my nade against that black spot so it doesn't go anywhere. It just gets stuck like that. And then... In that instant, in that instant, when it's like this, I aim 
I, I just know that I just need to jump forward, so like, when it's like this, I just jump forward and hold crouch so I can actually make this jump. You can throw the nade in many different ways, but this jump is actually important because it saves running all the way around the outpost and that loses like 15 seconds. So I look up, oh that was bad. Dude, couple of slide jumps here. Throw it up. Jump. I mean, I'm I'm looking down because I'm so used to it. But you can look up if you want. But that's the direction that you want to jump towards, and then you just follow the path all the way through. All right, this is gonna be fairly quickly because. Uh, legendary is a different story with those nade jumps. These guys can sometimes give you a boost, a punch boost. And all this is also based on, on easy, it's all about sprinting. Like how fast. And how optimal your sprint cycles are. Magnums, security side up, standard issue. Noble two, we're at some sort of bump station. Got eyes on civilians. I'm thinking. What you want to do for this little jump is I like to jump very early and land on the rock. And then that'll give me enough time to just like jump up to the left and just hug the wall and just get up on the ledge. <laughs> You don't have to do any of the combat, same thing with Legendary. This is a very short level, can be done less than 4 minutes and fairly easy. Well, easy is easy, so. Recon Bravo to Noble 2. We lost the civilians. Hold up, copy dropship, take cover. This is just, this is also still current strats, so. It's also easy to learn. Cat, are you seeing this? Covenant structure, kind of a big pylon. On legendary, this part is also a different story. But sometimes you don't want that elite to like mess you up on this alignment. This is the famous door clip. It still exists today, and what you want to do over here is just line yourself up intersecting this part, and you want this arrow to be directly in the middle, and then you're through. You can do it at multiple angles, but as long as you're intersecting it at like about 90 degrees, you're, you're gold. Yeah, you just have to drive it against the wall and then turn at a 90 degree angle. Hopefully it's in the middle. And then you just get out, flip through the door. Really easy. There's a, co there's a couple of nade boost over here. You just throw the nade on the floor and then just boost it. And you want to jump on that rock because it, it's an early trigger. So it triggers the level early instead of having to walk all the way at the bottom and no enemies spawn there all right so now i'm gonna get through on legendary uh legendary has a lot more to deal with Now you can do the nade jump if you want, but I mostly don't do the nade jump because it triggers June to just shoot early and screw everything up and that can cost you a run or time. Now for this part, it is a bit tricky. There can be an elite up there. Oh, there it is. There can be elites up there. And you do the same nade jump. There's three different ways you could approach this situation. One, 
is for this way, you would want to go this part and just get through the combat on this side, obviously. Let me see if I can do this right. There you go. You just have to just be lucky, I guess. But this is one way of doing it. Oh, I got caught. <sighs> yeah, I definitely got caught there. Uh, it's not always going to be the same every time, of course. Yeah, you just want to throw a nade just to distract him a bit. I might be dead here. Damn it. Uh. Wow, that elite is just an asshole right now. There's no backup strat to this. This is literally just trial and error. Sometimes you can make it, sometimes you can't. I jumped over him. That's funny. I want to get a checkpoint here. Alright. Alright, sometimes that guy's not gonna notice you, but since I shot, he's gonna notice me every time. Oh god, this elite. Oh yeah, you just wanna run over here as quickly as you can. Obviously, I get caught up in a tree. That's how guides go. You don't want to do that to a jackal. Man. But this is just one of the strats. I'm just showing. Like, it is possible. Oh my god. Can you even see me? Well, these guys can definitely see me. What is really killing me here is one of these guys. Wow, now they're not even focusing on me. Alright. This is exactly why I don't want to happen. Yeah, you just want to get through this. This is going to be a long nightfall video, I can tell. Gotcha. Alright, that is one way of doing it. <sighs> this is exactly why I edited the video. I really don't want to keep on restarting it and doing different strats over and over again for different situations. But that is only just one way of doing it. I'm gonna repeat this a couple of times so you can actually get this. That is just one way of doing that area. There's three different ways. That's one of the ways. If you get a elite here with the focus rifle that is already spotting you, there's no way around it. It's just pure. It's just pure luck if you get it or not. But yeah, this is also one of the things. This is a very safe. You just shoot that guy and you're good. If you want to be extra safe, you can shoot 
this elite. Wow, he's actually running away. You can shoot that elite a couple of times. Get up here. And just run through. If I don't get caught. That's a safe way, like, trust me. Uh, it just depends on how fast you do this. Okay. Yeah, it literally just depends on how fast you do it. That is one way. That is very safe, trust me. Depends on how fast. You can be extra safe and shoot that extra elite and you're actually free if you kill that extra elite. Now, this is also one of the riskiest ways and also the fastest way of doing this. This is why I wanted to edit this video, but, oh yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. It's literally just June shooting early and just screwing your whole level up. You have to restart and get a different, get a different start, basically. Well, at least you guys can see like the different situations and how I handle things. But there is no way of going through that. Recon Bravo to Noble 2, stand by for contact report. Standing by to copy, over. We have eyes on multiple hostiles patrolling the settlement. Just oh boy, I might die here. Negative, too small. You're not in the dark zone yet. Engage at your own discretion, but keep moving. Already engaged. Oh, I missed that. That was, that was a precious bullet. Ooh, I got him. Oh yeah, this is the riskiest way to do it. It's just yellowing it and killing that last turn. Wow. Fuck. Got him. And just run. You can throw a grenade here, safer. Oh yeah, that is one of the riskiest ways to do it. If you have time before the elite jumps, that's even like, better. And the reason also, I threw that frag earlier, is to try and distract them with the frag, but of course the elite didn't, like, was not stupid, so. But you can actually see how different I handle these situations. Uh, those are the three ways to go through that. Depending on whatever you practice the most or whatever situation you get. But whatever you prefer is all up to you. You can use one of those three methods. But the safest one I use most of the time. And yeah. Now, another difference from legendary to easy is the bridge. Now, the bridge you would want, if you get unlucky and the elite is patrolling and looking towards you and staying there, you'll see what I mean in like a few seconds. If I get it, if not, then I'll just explain it to you. Um. Yeah, if the elite is like standing like right there, you have to wait for him. Yeah, like this. You can't. You can't go. You just have to wait until he changes position, because that's the safest way to go through this. If he's not, then you can just back smack him and just continue on with your day. Do the exact same thing with door clip, and you're free. You just kill him. You get a checkpoint here every single time you get inside a vehicle. So in this case, the forklift. You do the same alignment against this, 90 degree angle, and you're through. 
and you just yeah that's basically nightfall for you you just do a couple nade boosts I don't care but yeah I'm gonna do more videos in the future but thank you for watching if you have any more questions anything feel free to message me or comment that's basically why I wanted to explain legendary if you ever want to get into it but mostly easy easy is just run through the park and nightfall is fairly easy fairly fast too but, um, anyways I'll create more videos on different levels. I just did winter and nightfall. Next will probably be Oni, and I don't know when that's going to be. So, alright. Now, 